up YouTube? I'm Nintendo Man 64 bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, the Action Replay Edition. Last time we made our way here up to Mr. Pokemon's house, Soup's gained three levels in that time to get his stats up to pretty good defensive quality. And now we will proceed back down to Professor Elms because he sort of frantically called us that we have to get back to his lab immediately because something went down and we have to go figure out what he meant probably something bad if I know my uh, Pokemon lingo should keep leveling up soups We can't go further because they're having a battle right there. Did I talk to you yet? Yep, you're the PP person. You're the PP person! Keep heading down. Oh my god. People texting me. They don't text me all day until I'm busy. And Soup's learned poison powder. Alright. That could trigger the ability poison. Yay! I'll tell you more about those once we get to Violet City, which is the next big town. But we shouldn't have to worry about it until then. First things first, I have to go heal soups, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're fully healed. Hopefully, I don't get to receive another text. And we're good to go. Oh, something's up ahead. Oh! It's Big Red over here. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for your wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have, t I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. This Big Red guy, I don't know what his name is, is your ri passerby boy. Is your rival in the game. And as most Pokemon games go, he will choose the Pokemon you are weak to. Unfortunately he, for him, he took off and left. So... He didn't really train his Chikorita. I'm sorry, his Cyndaquil. And really? Just land a Poison Powder. Thank you. Okay. Growl. Growl. Oh, wow, it's not even doing any damage. Okay, I think I could take it from here. I think I could take it from here. And down he goes. Perfect. Huh. Are you happy you won? I am happy I won, actually. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Oh, what happened? Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no! You saw my name! Now this game is very unsubtle with who that character really is. But I know what his name is going to be in my game. Let's just say I'm a very evil person. I named him Kaiba in the first time I played the game. I'm gonna go with something a little more cruel. I have something more dark in mind. Let's take that green apricorn right there. And let's talk to the people we neglected earlier. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear at night. So hoot hoot. I wanted to take a break so I saved to record my progress. Ooh. We're actually going to go up here a little bit later in this episode 
as we go looking for Pokemon. But I'm not going to focus on that too much at the moment. Like I said, what I want to do is beef up soups and oh my god. Well, at least there we won't have to worry about wild Pokemon showing up. Ooh, 10 and level 10 and 32 HP, not bad. We're back in New Bark Town. Now let's talk to Professor Elm. Who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Why? Why do you think that? Oh my, so you must be the one who did it? Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Yeah, my hair's not red, dude. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? I did. His name... is not applicable I see so not applicable was his name yes thanks for helping my investigation my next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual Mikey I'm glad they understand you are innocent see you later Wow bye Lyra Mikey, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. P Pokemon's big discovery? I give him the egg. The egg of a thousand dreams and darkness and stuff. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Heh. <laughs> eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Mikey, is that true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Mikey, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so... Why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League Champion. Or not. Haha! <laughs> Becoming the champion is not all easy, is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Mikey, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave me, make sure you talk to your mom. I will, don't worry. I am not that kind of rude child that will not speak to his mother. Mumsy! Mumsy, I'm leaving! So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know. Every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money for you? Sure, why not? So whenever you get, you win a battle in Pokemon, you get money. Now, from this point on, you're going to be taking on only a percentage of it onto your person the other half is gonna go to your mom so it's good to save money in case you're looking for a big purchase it's also bad good so you're not just gonna splurge all your money on one stupid thing and then be like oh my god I have no money what do I do like soups here soups could use some things But I'm not going to blow all my money on soups. I mean, look at him. Him and his stubby legs. Him and his stubby legs. I'll text her later. Oh. Hello, Lyra. There you are. Mikey, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. Is this your jumping party? 
Just like that. Huh? Was I too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. Alright. And she's gonna catch... Ooh, a Rattata. person you oh my and she caught it yay see just like that it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did or make it sleep or something you can try all kinds of things to see what works I'll give you these. Good luck. And she gives us, I believe, five Pokeballs to start off with. So it'd be nice to help build the End Man's evil empire when it comes to building his army. And the first new recruit... A Centret! Alright. Razor Leaf will probably kill you. So let's try a Tackle. Alright, next step, poison. To lower your HP a little bit and increase your odds of me catching you. And let's make some magic. Now I'm going to try to nickname every Pokemon I catch. But only the Pokemon that I'm going to be using long term will have the upper and lowercase letters like Soups has. The rest are all going to have the just purely capital letters. So the Centret, for example, will have that. A very cautious Pokemon, it raises itself up using its tail to get a better view of its surroundings. I'm going to name him... What am I going to name you? Oh, I know what I'm going to name you. Only my friend Scott will get this. Magusi. I am naming it Magusi. Unfortunately, Magusi is poison, so... He's not going to be too useful to us early on. And he has... Let's see. Speed at the expense of physical attack. And run away for an ability. Well, you'll be useful as a uh, HM slave then. Another Centret. Don't need to worry about that. Alright, so Magusi survived the poison. That's a new thing that was introduced in Gen 4. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. Um, you don't have... You don't faint of poisoning anymore in Gen, from Gen 4 forward. In fact, in later Pokemon games, you don't even take damage from poison when you walk. You only take damage from it in battle, which is interesting. Another Centret. And another Centret. Nope, a Pidgey. Okay. And it's a level 4 too, so this one should actually be pretty useful to our team early on. Ooh. And it just barely lived through that. Now I wonder. Would a girl named after her mother be a junior too or is it just boys because I had a Pidgey the last time I played Heart Gold and I named her Marahute and she did very good for us you know what I'm gonna name you Marahute anyway no not Ma space Rahute
Marahute. That's two Pokemon down. Now we only have one more we can catch on this route at the moment. But we are going to be going up here. As you saw, there's a little outpost over here. Make sure you don't miss anything. Nope. No, 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 no. Another Pidgey. Actually, we didn't check what Pid we didn't check what Marahute stats are. Let's see. Gentle nature. I knew that was defensive. Uh, special defense at the expense of physical defense. Tangled feet raises evasion if the Pokemon is confused. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, hello, glitches. You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to take a shortcut. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. So let's see what we can catch up here. I swear if it's just the original three, I won't be happy. You should try different routes sometimes. You never know what Pokemon you're going to get. That's right, you don't. Let's see what we can catch up here. A Spearow! Okay! Spearow is that flying Pokemon I mentioned earlier. You can only find it on Route 29 in the morning. It is generally physical attack oriented. So, if your Pokemon is weak in the, special, in the physical attacking market, Spearow might be useful for you early on. And like that, I now have a pretty stacked roster of Pokemon. I still need a Rattata, and to make sure if there's anything else that's go that's lurking over here. Ooh, a Geodude! Wow, man. Lots of wild Pokemon. Okay. Geodude is a rock ground type. Razor Leaf would cut this thing down to size easily. The only problem is I want to catch it. Not to use on my team, but to use. And the issue with that is I no move other than Razor Leaf will do a, more than just a weak little hit on it because it's got high defenses and Rock is like, watch this. Rock takes a lot of damage from normal type attacks, flying type attacks. Anything I have right now won't do enough damage for me to fear. Or to like to like kill it, except for Razor Leaf, which would automatically kill it, basically. So I'm gonna avoid doing that. And keep keep growling. Lower its ability to hurt us. And now that it's halfway down, let's try a Pokeball. Now, like I said, none of these Pokemon are going to be long-term on my team, and I just realized I didn't give Spearow a nickname. Oh, well. Oh, well. I literally just realized I did not give Spearow a nickname. Oh, shame on me. Alright, Geodude. Unoriginal, I know, but we're going to call her Geogal. Geogal. I don't know. Alright, so that gives us five Pokemon. Spearow without a nickname, Soups, Magusi, Marahute, and Geogal. We still need to catch a Rattata. But I don't think we're going to find one here. Alright, so now I have two Pokemon down to one HP. Let's see if we can catch a Rattata on our way back to New Bark Town. Probably not, though. And a Pidgey. Now again, like, I, like I've said, none of these Pokemon are going to be on my team long term. 
Mostly because I don't see much use out of any of them, save as, like I said, either good damage dealers early on or meat shields. And the first gym is pretty damn unkind to Chikorita, so... I'm gonna wanna hope that I can get as many meat shields or Pokemon that can do damage as possible. Wow. There'll come a point where you're running into almost nothing but Rattatas, and I can't seem to find one here. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, wrong way. Hey, get off the tree. Thank you. Another Sentret. No, thank you. It's not even at a high enough level for me to want to fight it to gain the experience. Same there. If it was level 4, I might actually be convinced. And... Wow. Wow. They're not gonna give us a Rattata, man. That would be funny that at like certain points in the day you just could not catch a Rattata. It's 115, you can't catch it, but at 116 you can. Alright, let's see. Survey says Pidgey. Centret. Oh my goodness! This is getting crazy now. Wow, okay. I guess I'm going to have to do what I do in normal Pokemon runs. I am going to count to five. With within five Pokemon, we do not have a Rattata. I am going to walk away. And I will have to catch one later. Oh, there we go. Alright, tackle. Ooh, and it knows quick attack early. Nice. You will come in handy, Miss Rat. Thank you. And now we have a full team of six. So I need more Pokeballs. And we will get them at the Mart. What am I going to call you? Hmm. I know, my names are unoriginal. We're gonna call her Squeaks. Alright. So that'll give us a full team of six. But I'm not gonna be using a full team of six. Like I said, I'm gonna use some as meat shields early on. And others... Might have other uses for me. So I'm going to be putting a couple in the computer, uh, one or two in the computer at the moment. Actually, you know what? Let me look at my team. I haven't looked at anybody else's stats since then, so let's see Spiro. Mild natured. Special attack at the expense of physical defense. Yep, you're, you're in the computer. Nope, let's keep going. Geo Gal is impish. That is a good nature for her. Physical defense at the expense of special attack. She's not going to be good at special attacking at any sense of the imagination. And sturdy is a good ability for her. Alright. And Rattata is quirky, which means nothing. It means it gains no nothing, but it doesn't lose anything either. So, that, so Squeaks will be useful. And... I think I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put the Spiro in the computer because you can do that in case you didn't know. 
going to deposit the Spiro. It's also the weakest member of our team at the moment. And for the moment, I'm also going to put Magusi in there. I'm going to take Magusi out once we can gain some more of the hidden moves. But we do not have any hidden moves at the moment, so... I'm only going to keep around GeoGal, Squeaks, and Marahute. Now, I have some Pokemon to train. So, I'm going to be training everybody except for Soups, obviously, because he's past that point. Up to level 5. So, I will see you guys next time when we show off how much we've leveled up our Pokemon. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm Nintendo Man 64 Join me and GeoGal apparently next time. How does she move? She's probably like hopping. Or like moving like a gorilla does where it goes it's on its legs and it's like hopping, hopping, hopping. I don't know. Join me and GeoGal next time when we proceed our way up to Violet City. And maybe encounter a few more Pokemon along the way. Until then, sayonara.